Okay, so let me just run through what's going on in your golf swing. Okay, so I'll, I'll take the plunges. Okay, so um, because we're not seeing down the line, essentially what you would do is you would, we call you'd stand up, okay? You would drive the handle down like this, the face would be open, and when you got to impact, the handle was high, the majority of your golf balls were push cuts, okay? Um, your body wasn't open enough to support that, and, um, and if you did do it, you would cut even more, essentially. So, we changed a lot of things coming down. I'm not going to really get into that because you already have the video on that. Um, but the big one with the driver, and, and this one's pretty important, we would get the handle close to 90 degrees to the golf ball at, at its release point. Okay, sorry about the distraction. Well, wait a second. <laughs> All right, there we go. Okay, so, so what would happen is if, if the handle gets driven forward too far, the upper body is going to go back like this to try to get the club head to the golf ball. Now, if that occurs, I'm going to start introducing wrist conditions into the golf ball and it's going to increase what this is going to start doing. Okay, I'll just say that starts rolling this way. Does that make sense? That's your, that's your brain attempting to get the face somewhat square to start the ball at the target. Now, if you're looking at guys that drive it really well, like a, like a David Toms is probably one of the best examples of this, um, or golf machine would call it more of a random release, the club head itself and the shaft, when it gets 90 degrees to the ground, is further back away from the golf ball. Now that doesn't mean that it's releasing out like that and the handle's back, because you saw your film, that's not the case. It actually lines up really nice. In fact, you had a little bit of lean, but you still hit up on the golf ball, right? So this picture in and of itself can be a little deceiving. So when you come down and the handle's here, the body's still rotating like this to the, to the left, and the handle's still rising as you hit it, you hit an upward blow into the golf ball. Does that make sense? Okay. That doesn't mean I want you to get, we call this being late, and then the club overtakes. Okay, that's a problem because what happened to my body in order to introduce that? It's had to stop, right? So it gets to six, goes like that into the golf ball. So it's wider, and what's interesting is if you look at some players, their 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 smash factor goes up, and if you look at it on the track, then low point gets further back behind the golf ball. So some players like a like a Patrick Rogers, um, their low point is behind the golf ball more, okay, not not really, but the, the low point of the arc, or the flat spot, is further behind the golf ball when they hit it, okay, and that, that's where the correlation to angle of attack comes into play. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Now, here's an important thing. Your, your flat spot was closer to the golf ball, but you still had a two-degree upward angle of attack. So how's that possible? So when you're hitting the golf ball like this and going like that to hit it, that it's too vertical, but you still hit up. See that? So what's gonna happen, the face is gonna go all over the place, potentially. Or there's a flat spot five, six inches behind the golf ball and you still hit two up on it. See that? The same is true with irons. Okay, so it's we could say it's too much lag Okay, this is, could happen, and you're gonna have some problems with the face. Is that all pretty clear? Yes. Okay, so show me what the ideal would be and how you're gonna measure that. And this is just for measurement purposes. Good, so you come down. Good, so that's parallel. So the butt end of the club is right behind the right femur, right? Right wrist is still bent. Right elbow is in the good position here. And left arm is here, okay? So this angle to the ball got wider for you. Now, improper would be the handle was driven forward. Now, the only way to get to the golf ball without hitting way down on it is to tilt back, create that gap, and then throw the head at the ball, okay? 
So that would be improper, right? I mean, unless you did that per design, yeah. right? So um, go ahead and do one. Just down to P6 like that. So to six. Good. Then from there, club head a little lower. There you go. That's great. So that's nice and wide right there. So I can see that right here. It's wider. Okay, now keep your head basically on the wall and extend. Good. Extend more. There you go. Very good. That's how you train that into existence.